from now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Derisha. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis. You are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But... No physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our... You can do this. I know it. Very well, Father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Mr. President, I was looking for you. Well, and I you, would you believe it? What on earth are you up to now? You make me change my mind for the vote of the conference, and then you proceed to change sides yourself? Yes, I, I do understand you being surprised. I'm sorry, but there have been new developments since then. What are you talking about? In fact, you were right. I've been thinking about it since our discussion, and... I've been able to talk to the other guests. You should have listened to me, you young fool. You were absolutely right. Please accept my humblest apologies, sir. All right, 
All right. I have my share of responsibility, too. After all, I didn't have to listen to you. Listen, I must apologize once again, but it's not too late. Maria, listen. This is the last time you'll be dragging me into any such schemes. You realize you are playing with the destinies of nations. For goodness sake, grow up, young man. You're right, Mr. President. I cannot apologize enough. Please come back to us. Of course I shall come back. But from now on, please keep me out of your shenanigans. I promise, Mr. President. And try to stick with one opinion, at least until the vote. You have my word. Good. Now leave me, I have work to do. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I've come just as a friend. No matter how I look at it, between my affection for you and the conference, I can't hide my disappointment at your changing sides, Louis. With all due respect to Lord Mortimer, how could you follow him like this? I understand your disappointment, Your Eminence, but I have good reason to. Ah. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I, I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Your Eminence, don't worry over such small matters. God sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to this soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now.
Duke Manuel. The Riche? I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my Lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? I've simply found out more. About what? About the project. And also about the parties present. It was enough to convince me. I... All right. What have you found then? When you find out, you'll hasten to join us. Right. Well, you have piqued my curiosity, Dorichet. I have a funny feeling you're hiding something from me. Why exactly did you choose to follow Lord Mortimer? I have no faith in Sir Gregory. Indeed. And why is that? I don't know. He acts like someone who knows they've already lost. Of course. Given Mortimer's team, honestly, didn't you have any doubts about your winning? Sorry, not for one second. <laughs> no need to apologize. Lord Mortimer planned everything to make you believe. You... Everything is going exactly according to his plan. Not once has Lord Mortimer been the least bit worried. Not once has he wavered. Never has he had the slightest doubt. And do you know the reason for such confidence? No. I didn't need to ask whether or not to join Mortimer. He acts like a winner. He knows he's going to win. The game is over, and Holm knows it as well. But where did we go wrong then? Luis, tell me, where did we go wrong? They're all going to vote for Mortimer Manuel. But no, that is impossible. Will you be the only one to raise a hand in favor of Sir Gregory? I, but- The one to whom everything happens, who reaps all the consequences? No. I cannot afford to lose for Spain! I... I do not want Spain to pay the price of an alliance made too hastily. Uh, not because of me. Indeed, uh, it would seem things have changed. Thank you for letting me know, Luis. Uh, may I call you Luis? Of course you can, Manuel. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I... I never really made up my mind. Naturally. I... Yes. Do, do you think Lord Mortimer will tell me a little more about this? I pop in to see him? What is more normal than wanting to get informed before you make a decision? Yes, I won. Look at him, squirming on the end of a hook so as not to lose face. I love it. Of course, he'd be delighted. Perfect. It's a deal. You can count on me at the conference, Luis. Marvelous. If you don't mind, I'll be leaving you now. I'll go straight to Mortimer to tell him the good news. Yes, yes, please do. Go ahead, Luis. Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw that. What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. But don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. And did he go all right? I imagine you spoke about yourselves. He confirmed what Sir Gregory told me, that he really is my father. That he didn't know I was his daughter until a short while ago. And, well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? Yes, I do. I'll follow him because, well, I think he can teach us a thing or two. I understand. What about you? What do you think of him? Honestly, I no longer know who to believe. The only one I really trust is you. So, I shall follow you this time. So, I can count on you for the conference vote then, right? You can. I shall support Mortimer's project. Perfect. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. See you later for the vote. Yes, see you later. Talk 
to Von Vohner. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. <sighs> Just my luck. He'll only talk to the Duke. Right. We'll have to fix that. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, God, I. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. What he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Godoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Sir Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. Where are you getting this from? Name me even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My God, man. I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just... Uh... Let me think. You're pinned down. You will only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war, because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow home without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? If he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh, ah, now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. <sighs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day, even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And all of this is just a show. That he has be. contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, 
the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. But, uh, how is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. That clever Dorichet turned them all against... What the... All of them. One by one, he somehow persuaded them to join Mortimer. But... No. No, that's impossible. It looks like all of us have seriously underestimated him. While we all thought he was running around after his poor mother, he was actually accomplishing the tour de force of winning us all over, one after the other. You're the only one left, Johan. I dare not imagine what Mortimer will do if he finds out you are against him. Because from now on, you're on your own. Good luck. No, no, wait. I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable, unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. I've retrieved everything. What is... Yes! Yes! I, at last, I found it! Alzif! Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? What? A page has been torn out.
Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duchess Hillsborough? For. Duke Manuel? For. Your Eminence? For. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner? For. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What, what did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help me. After several Help. centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember 
that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Happening. Am I dreaming or? Louis! It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I. I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. doing here now N nothing seems real you are nothing but a coward what a bunch of amateurs you are please keep calm what on earth is going on here I don't understand a thing Louis don't waste any time appease them my thoughts are becoming confused help me be quick yes not a minute to lose. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. God damn it. I don't understand a thing. I'm doomed. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side.
looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. What? What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool, you couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... what you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously. It's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... you're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here, but I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. All right, all right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis, no! Don't leave me. Louis! Filthy scum, I'll kill you. I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis de Richet. Do you hear me? I will find you. I must be quick. My memories. I, I'm losing my sense. Oh, I, Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! Who's there? Elizabeth? I saw your body. You're dead. Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? Uh, uh, my name is Louis de Richet. Oh. William Alexander Mortimer's son. William? Uh, See. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Sir Gregory has been poisoned. What? Uh, Who uh, dares attack my son? It would seem it was Lord Mortimer. William, that vile little traitor. Oh. He dared overstep our family rules. No member of the family will you kill the dog. He will pay for this. No, Louis, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here. Wait. I have a proposal to make to you. I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? 
Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Very well. I accept. Good. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. Oh, ah, ah, my head oh, it hurts like hell! Oh, I hope I've made the right choice. I didn't want to believe it. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. It was a trap right from the start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this. This is the Hillsborough first event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. To bring Emily back again to this conference. Hmm. Supposedly to find I'm on the right track here. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him. from our father, and I didn't say a word. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... Louis. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we... Getting to the end here. Cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. 
The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me. Quickly! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice. And you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't worry, son. Father? I am here. You can go in peace. Father? I am sorry. Don't be. You've been infallible right to the end. I am proud all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost... No. If your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to... Stop! All of you! Leave now! William. Calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd like to know? First, know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. i better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? Nothing at all. I, I was invited here to look for my mother. 
who had gone missing. You mean your sister? I didn't know that at the time. In any case, I didn't know anything about any of this. I'd never even met your two sons. And the more time went by, the more the trap closed around me. But you've survived so far. You can be proud of that. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? Yes, of course. As soon as we left the conference room. Mm, you were right to do so. So then, what did you do to thwart William? When William asked me to enter Piaggi's mind in order to send a false letter to the Pope to discredit Gregory, I didn't do it. Without telling William, I wrote a very different letter instead. I see. Congratulations. You did dare to take a few risks. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? I know what he wants to hear. According to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I congratulate you, Louis. You have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go, now. It's time to get this over and done with. William! Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely. And as you see, they Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees. Ah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. 
On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, through her close ties with the crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links with the United States on both the diplomatic and commercial fronts. She became inseparable from Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power and became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sara de Richet stepped down from the Golden Order and undertook numerous excursions to Eurasia in search of her son. She reportedly lived out her last moments in a yurt on the way back from the Verkhoyansk mountain range. She died ranting and raving about needing a new body. On his return from Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the Revolutionary Courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months. Yes, I and I just. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I'd better hurry.
Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forgive me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's uh, gonna suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Uh, let her go, huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. Uh, women, right? They really do drive us crazy sometimes. I totally understand. Yeah, and every time they open their mouths, it makes you want to slap them. I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Recap. Before dip, I've got to find the place where all eyes. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Miller expressly forbade me from reading it. pages out of an old encyclopedia.
find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa, a hero armed. Mm. I am the. I'll stick. Let's. Hmm. Would it be trade? The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. All right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. This is Thursday. He is a man of incredible. I wonder how come do you think? Up and click one we went and the the but in it's but it's so what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's big Louie, I need to talk. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this- I beg- I'll be waiting. I was sure there was a certain- Louie! Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother. <laughs> you know, nothing. That's but as for you. Pity you're not for the way. Alazif. Let me do this. Trust me. Alone. You ought to he would have you right. Well, you just you and with the in so I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved have and it exists.
the tip. This Let's there the and let's look inside the back. An iron. Right. I don't know what's going on. What? Any? Ooh, thank you, my. I, I thought. It's a oh, please. Yeah, but I. I, I, I what? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, Detroit. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crimes. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like